Welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing some of the experiments that I've been working on or have worked on in the past and how they are doing. I'm doing this mainly for transparency because I know that a lot of people will be saying where are all the updates, etc, etc. So the first one we're going to be talking about is Tiny Home Hub. This is the one that I made an entire course on how to create a website and how to get it ranking. If you want to watch that course, it's on my channel. It's the main video when you click on my channel. It's like two and a half hours, three hours long, and it's very, very helpful for setting up a website. But yeah, this is the project that I have personally probably put the most time into, um, although I really haven't put that much time into it, to be honest with you. And we have been using Article Fiesta to do all of the blog post writing. I use ChatGPT to do all of the main pages, like if I go on um, Tiny Home Legal, for example. Then we have a nice long page here. And then at the bottom of the page, we have all of the different um, states of America. And these were all written with ChatGPT semi-manually. So me doing copy and pasting from ChatGPT. However, for blog posts, I've just been using Article Fiesta. And yeah, I mean, it's not huge. And a lot of this here, like this big spike here, and also a lot of it right here. This is obviously from people who are searching for my website, okay? And you can see that from there being a lot of site, tiny home hubs, tiny home hub, et cetera, et cetera. However, there is, there are pages on here that are ranking purely because they are kind of Article Fiesta written uh, articles. And this one right here is particularly interesting. This uh, Barn Ban Dominium, which is where I believe, and I don't even know what this is and I'm ranking for it. Uh, it's where you turn a barn into a living place, basically. And I used Article Fiesta, and I'm actually going to show you the keyword method that I used to find this keyword, which I personally believe is the best keyword method. But one thing I think is really interesting is this curve. This is almost like the AI content curve, or just like lack of domain rating content curve, okay? So let me just say this is a completely fresh domain. Um, Thursday, the 22nd of July is apparently when I put it on Search Console. So yeah, it's completely fresh and this happens a lot. It starts off getting a little bit of like uh, impressions. I know there are no clicks here. I don't really look at clicks though. If you know my channel, you'll know that by now. And then it just died off for a little bit and then bang right here, 65 impressions in one day. And if I go to most recent date, we can see 77 impressions. So we can definitely see that this is growing. All of these are nice keywords and I can definitely see this website ranking in the future as well, which was the entire point of that video. I am still releasing content slowly um, on the website. Just every few days, I will post a few blog posts, basically. But yeah, let's talk about how I actually found this keyword real quick. The one thing I do really like about Article Fiesta is it, it it's, first of all, it's not too expensive. I do have an affiliate link. There will be an affiliate link in the description. Uh, I would make this video anyway, though, because I'm kind of friends with the owner. I think he's a really, really good guy. And it's not that expensive. They're really, really not charging that much. Um, $60 for 30 articles is $2 per article for basically hands off blog SEO, which is really, really nice. And yeah, so the thing I like about it is it's kind of like auto blogging AI with the uh, bulk article creation option, which is really, really good for the keyword method I am about to show you. This is the first project that I'm going to be talking about, but there are other projects that I want to talk about that I've been involved in and that were also built around using my methods. So using Google Ads Keyword Planner, if you don't know how to set this up, then um, just make a Google Ad account and yeah, go to the Keyword Planner basically. Uh, I always do United States. Well, obviously it depends what you're targeting. And then what I like to do is I like to just search for really broad things in the niche, like tiny home, tiny house. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of. And then you hit get results. So what this does is it uses semantics, okay? So first of all, you can see how big the niche is right here. So it's got up to 1.8 million kind of searches per month. Tiny homes, 301,000 searches per month. But what I'm actually gonna be doing here, I, I think this has one of the worst user experiences of any app I've ever seen in my life. It's honestly terrible. So it's good to zoom out. You're not gonna be able to see as well, but just, I won't zoom out permanently, but just so you know, it's better to zoom out because it really does have terrible, terrible UI. But because I'm making a YouTube video, I have to zoom in. So what I like to do is I like to hit three month change and you can just grab these keywords, okay? So 
What you can do as well is you can remove brands if you want, depending on what you're actually doing. I don't need to remove brands because brands for me is completely fine. Like it says here, Home Depot selling tiny homes. There's no reason I can't write a blog post about that, right? Elon Musk, tiny home, uh, tiny house boxable. There's no reason I can't write a blog post about that. Sunshine, tiny, tiny homes, it's the same thing. So for me personally, I don't need to remove brands. But if you're kind of in e-commerce or whatever it might be, and you don't want brands, just know that you can remove brands right here. So you can remove retailers and you can remove brands. That's super, super useful to know as well. But yeah, what I like to do is I, you can literally just click here and just copy them and you have an absolute ton of keywords ready to go, basically. So what you can do if you really want is you can put these into ChatGPT and you can say, can you give me 50 blog post ideas, unique 50 unique blog post ideas from this list of keywords? Might be too big. We'll have a quick look. Looks like it should be fine. Okay. And then what you can do is you can stick these into um, Article Fiesta, or you can just put the keywords directly in here after removing duplicates like this. Uh, but yeah, you can do it however you want, basically. And that's what I've been doing. I would recommend not making this many at one time, though. I would probably do 10 at a time and then schedule them, basically. But that's how I kind of, that's how I'm ranking on Tiny Home Hub. I have a combination of pages. Uh, which I made with ChatGPT, and then I'm slowly releasing Article Fiesta content. And you can see it's having a decent effect. It's not, I'm not saying that this is like insane and like you should all hail me as an SEO god or anything, but I mean, 132 impressions on a fresh domain, I would be satisfied if this was my own kind of business, which I'm, I, it kind of is, but I'm not really planning on taking Tiny Home Hub too far. I'll probably release like 300 blog posts over the year and just do like a case study. I don't know if I'll put ads on it or anything like that, but yeah, that's Tiny Home Hub. Let's move on to the next project. So you can tell if an SEO is a good SEO if they have an absolute ton of um, Search Console uh, profiles on their Google Search Console, okay? Actually, just one more thing quickly I wanna show you is WordPress when you just use the base theme without paying for any theme. So I'm using 2023 here. The speed is amazing, okay? And it's been accepted by Google, and I'm really, really confident that if I wanted to, I could scale this website to, you know, 30,000 clicks uh, a month or whatever it might be, which I might do, we will see. It's just nice to have websites, it's nice to pay for domains, and it's nice to build up their authority, and maybe in the future, I can work on them or sell them. So let's talk about some projects that are not actually my project, but they are built on my logic. So this is from one of my friends. I did talk about this website briefly in another video where I was using it as an example of what not to do. But it turns out that their chat GPT content on a pretty fresh domain. So it was the 9th of March. So five months in, um, this one is not the finance niche, which is probably why it's the one that's ranking the best out of the four different projects. This was written using chat GPT 3.5 using my methods, using uh, this method of finding keywords, okay? Um, but this is specific for Ireland, okay? And the results are pretty impressive, honestly. I would not expect this kind of curve from 3.5 written content in just a few months. It's pretty crazy, to be honest with you, um, how good that really is. I don't think they even have that many blog posts. I think it's like 20 blog posts. I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah, they only have 34 pages here. How many index pages? 33 index pages. Wow, that is very, very impressive, actually. 33 index pages, almost 10 clicks uh, a day. Well, not really, because that's like a high, but more like five clicks a day, probably on average. That's really, really cool to see, though. And this is very easily scalable, okay? So this is with 24 blog posts. Imagine it with 48. Imagine it with 72. Imagine it with quick maths, 96 etc, etc. It's very, very scalable here, which is what I've been trying to talk about um, recently in the last few in the in the last few months, basically, it's very easy to scale. And and one of the easiest or best tests to do here is to look at the most recent date, we have nine clicks here 200 impressions. If either of these numbers are above, it means we're in a period of growth. We'll take the 200 impressions is basically the same. As I said before, I don't look at clicks, I look at impressions. So as long as impressions are remaining the same or even going up a little bit, then we know that we are 
in in the gold basically that we're growing this is not with article fiesta this is purely with chat gpt in the ui using 3.5 just like this bang 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 it's not um it's not using article fiesta okay there are three other projects by the same uh, digital marketing agency by the same per, uh, people and you can see here that this one is not doing quite as well that is because it's in the finance niche we're looking at 5.6 thousand impressions in three months and 84 clicks, which is honestly not really that bad, to be honest with you. This one, not doing well at all. This one, I believe, got hacked and loads of pages were added. And it only has six index pages and 13,000 pages that are not indexed. Holy God. So this is what not to do. This is, um, yeah, something bad happened here. They got hacked or something. I really, really... Absolutely crazy. Then the final one is marketing grants. 2.8 thousand impressions, not bad at all. Um, again, this is a finance niche. Look at these keywords. You can see grants for sole traders in Ireland. Even to have two clicks for that keyword with 3.5 written content is pretty crazy when you think about it. So definitely interesting that you can just basically set up one of these websites to see how many index pages. Again, it's 33. I believe each website, they wrote 24 pieces of content. You can see how easily this would be scaled if you did this consistently. I actually told them to stop because I thought it'd be better to wait for ChatGPT4. However, I think maybe we could reboot this project and definitely looking at Bargain CPC. If you are thinking of doing something like this and setting up like a lead gen or a, an AdSense website or whatever it might be, I would say definitely look for non your money or your life niches. I wanted to make this video because I feel like a lot of people think that I just work on two projects, I suits and two men. That's not true. I work on loads of different projects. In fact, I also have Jucas, which is not doing very well at all. Um, not really. I mean, it's getting indexed, but there is literally just no impressions. I think releasing 300 blog posts in one day may have been a mistake, but we'll definitely We'll definitely see what happens. I'll keep you up to date with what is happening with my wins and with my losses as usual. I have high hopes for Tiny Home Hub. Let's talk about one more just because I know that my friend is comfortable with me talking about his project here. This is one where I'm purely advising them on what to do. I've told them repeatedly to keep making more content, but it seems like they're not really bothering. So actually, I'm going to message my friend right now and tell him to write some more content. But yeah, you can see the graph going up is, it's a nice curve. This website's been about, uh, been around for about as long as Two Men. Um, so Two Men has a million impressions in this amount of time. This project only has 52,000. So that's still pretty good, but it's the difference between having someone who works on this full time and just, you know, being a business owner who is trying to do their own SEO. There's a huge, huge difference. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate the everyone I, I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos basically especially if you're watching this long into the video you're a legend thank you and i'll see you very very soon with some more content peace out